hi there and uh, welcome back to my computer. Today I'm doing another platonic solid. This is the cube. Yeah, you could do the cube quite easily in Fusion, but uh, I'm doing it a bit. Maybe my quality backwards, but anyway, uh, and I'm going to dimension it in a bit of a specific way. So let's start this. This is quite simple. We're going to start a sketch. We're going to do a polygon, a circumscribed polygon. Choose the center point. And of course, you're going to have four sides. This is a cube. And we're going to lock it down horizontally. You really don't need to lock it down, but I love having everything constrained in my sketches. And yes, dimensioning. I always dimension in my first sketch, so I have a dimension with me through the design. So you can dimension a side. So merely a side or a hive is the same. You can uh, dimension the diagonal across or let's go back to the cube. If you for some reason want to do the diagonal through the body from this point to this point, which in this case is 103.5 millimeters, we can do that. So this is the diagonal straight through the body. Let's do that. We need some more construction things. We're going to do line construction from this point. And it got too short. Let's do that again. From here up to here. I'm going to do another line from here. And let's do it like that to start off. We're going to constrain it with perpendicular. And we're going to make sure that this line and one of the sides are equal. Now we're going to dimension from this point to this one. And yeah, it's a bit jumping around. When you have problems with that, right click and I'm going to choose aligned dimension so I get it aligned. Now this is going to be the diagonal straight for the body. So let's just make it uh, 56 millimeters just for fun. You can choose any dimension you want. Uh, we're going to finish the sketch. We're going to do another sketch on the plane standing up. And we're going to need some projections so we don't need to do all the things again. We're going to just one point here and one point here. We are done. We're going to do a circle. Make sure it's a construction circle from here to here. And then a line. This line is going to cause going to be the side. And then I'm going to constrain it vertically. Finish sketch. Yeah, that's all. We're going to extract or push pull, I want to call it. Uh, this surface and the extent is going to be two object and we're going to choose the point up here and OK. So now we made ourselves a cube. Very nice and easy. And we can turn off the sketches. Check the dimensions. It goes from here to here and that is 56 millimeters as we did. And we can go back, do our first sketch and make this 235.7 just for the fun of it. Finish sketch, go back, inspect, and now it's 245.7. So, yeah, we had done it. We have made a cube. Congratulations to us. Hope somebody finds this useful and see you around.